Hey everyone, my name is Major Batman here at Linkira Studios, here to go over a three different ways to make an airplane move. So we're going to utilize the Polygon Plane Asset, which is a free asset on the CintiStore.com. So I've imported that already, and let's get started. So if we drag the plane, we're going to create three planes. We're going to create three planes. And if you look inside the first plane, on there's a bunch of different things that can go on, but we're interested in the prop to make that work. Propeller. So the first way is we're going to do the configurable joint. So let's add the configurable joint. What we'll do is here, we'll zero out the anchor. We're going to lock the X, Y, and Z. We're going to lock the X and the Y, and then the forward Z is what it's going to spin around. So we're going to leave that as free. Let's scroll down and set the target angular velocity to 1,000, and set the angular YZ position damper to 1. And if we do that and press play, the propeller is now spinning. All right. For the next plane, we're going to use animations to make this work. So we're going to open up an animation window. Let's put it down here. And it says here to begin animating the prop, create an animator and non-animation clip. So we can create, create here. We can name this whatever we'd like. Uh, let's do prop. And now it's attached. So if we click the prop, and then what we're going to, to do is click the record button. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add the rotation on the Z as 180. And then we're going to add a new key and, and, and change that. So the idea here is it goes from 0 to 180 to 360. And I might have messed it up a little bit, but we can fix this here in the curves. So each of these lines is a different, is X, Y, or Z. So we can see the blue line. See how the blue line is up here? All right, what we're going to do is we want the middle line to be at 180. So we will put it there. We're going to put this line down at the bottom. at zero. Maybe we can just change it here. Click this one. And we're at 180. And then this one, we're going to go up to 360. Let's just move everything so it's a little closer together. So let's do 0.02 to get to the 180, and then back around in another two seconds. So let's change that to that, 360. And let's see that now. That looks quite a bit better as a prop plane. And that's all we need to do. And so that will start on play and will work. So let's see that in action next to our configuration joint. Pretty good. The last way to do it is we're going to utilize a script. So we're going to go in and we're going to create a script. And we'll name this prop spin. And when we open it, okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a public float speed. And we'll set this to one to begin with. Next, what we want to do is we want to grab the transform of the object that the script is attached to, which will be the propeller and we want to do transform.rotate and we want to and we want to send the x to 0 to y to 0 and we want to set the z to speed times times the time.fixed delta time and then we're going to make it relative to itself 
and we'll save that let it compile we'll go to the prop and we'll drag the new prop spin variable here now i believe that the, when we start this it's not going to be very fast so let's let's see how that works it's moving very slowly so let's increase the speed to a thousand and there we have it we have three quick and easy ways to make a airplane propeller spin